Welcome to my presentation. This presentation is part of the playlist, The Quadratic Formula. In this presentation, we will be talking about the quadratic formula and then also looking at some example problems related to that. So let's talk about the quadratic formula. If we have a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, in which a is not equal to zero, then the two solutions to the equations are found by using the quadratic formula. The quadratic form formula can be stated as shown here, x equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, the whole thing divided by 2a. Okay. So let's look at an example related to this quadratic formula. If we have a quadratic equation of this kind, 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0, we want to, find, we want to use the quadratic formula to be able to solve this equation. This is in the standard form of a quadratic equation. The given equation is in the standard form of the quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c is, is equal to 0. In here, a is equal to 6, b is equal to negative 7, and c is equal to negative 3. Um, once we identify the values of a, b, and c, we can then plug it into the quadratic formula. The, co the quadratic formula um, all we need in this quadratic formula is uh, the values of a, b, and c, as you can see here. As a first step, we will we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. And uh, as you can see here, the value of a is 6, the value of b is negative 7, and the value of c is negative 3. Once we have identified the, the values of a, b, and c, we can plug them into the formula as shown here x equals to the formula comes with a negative sign the value of b is negative 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared the value of b is negative 7 the whole thing raised to the power of 2 minus 4 a c 4 times the value of a is 6 the value of c is negative 3 the whole thing divided by 2 a the value of a is 6. So we have successfully substituted the values of a, b, and c into the formula. And from this point on, it is a matter of simplification. So let's see how we can simplify this. So negative of negative 7 is positive 7, plus or minus the square root of negative 7, the whole thing raised to the power of 2. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Then here, we want to simplify this part, 4 times 6 times negative 3. We have a negative times negative, which is a positive. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 times 3 is 72. So divided by 2 times 6 is 12. So we'll simplify it some more. 7 plus or minus the square root of, we need to add 49 plus 72. When we add 49 to 72, it is 121 under the radical term, divided by 12. So let's simplify it some more. Uh, 7 plus or minus the square root of 121. If you use your uh, scientific calculators or graphing calculators, you have a quadratic, you, you have a, a radical term a symbol in there. When you enter that value, the value of square root of 121 is 11. 7 plus or minus 11 divided by 12. Now, what this means is the plus or minus means the va there are two solutions to this particular equation 7 plus 11 over 12 or x equals to 7 minus 11 over 12 7 plus 12 is 18 divided by 12 or x equals to 7 minus 11 which is negative 4 divided by 12 when we simplify 18 over 12 it simplifies in to 3 over 2. This is the simplest form we can simplify to in, in, in a fraction format. Or negative 4 over 12. Negative 4 over 12 in its simplest form is negative 1 over 3. So they, these are the two solutions for this particular quadratic equation. x equals to 3 over 2 or x equals to negative 1 over 3. Both these, both these solutions should satisfy the given equation. So how do we know whether these are the two true solutions? 
let us check them out. So let us substitute first x equals to 3 over 2 and then when one, once we are satisfied with that, we'll then go ahead and then substitute x equals to negative 1 over 3 in the given equation and see whether that satisfies, sat satisfies it or not. So our given equation is this. 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. Wherever we see x, we're going to substitute the value of 3 over 2 here. 6 times 3 over 2, the whole thing raised to the power of 2, minus 7 times x, 3, the, um, for, for the value of x, we're going to substitute 3 over 2, minus 3 is equal to 0. So now we're going to simplify it some more. 6 times 3 over 2, every one of these terms is raised to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Minus 7 times 3 over 2, minus 3 equals to 0. So when we simplify this, 6 times 9 over 4, we can write it as um, 27 over 2. So uh, 6 and 4, they are multiples of 2. So therefore, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. So we have... 3 times 9 is 27, and then we have a 2 in the denominator. 6 times 9 divided by 4 simplifies to 27 over 2, and then 7 times 3 over 2 simplifies to 21 over 2 minus 3 divided is equal to 0. So now we have fractions and a whole number. We can take a common denominator. The common denominator, we can take it as equal to 2, and therefore, the first, uh, first term, we have a 27. For the second term, uh, we have a negative 21. And for the ter third term, 3 times 2 is 6. So therefore, 27 minus 21 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 0. The numerator goes to 0. And therefore, uh, the left-hand side is exactly equal to the right-hand side, which is which that we have a 0 there. So therefore, is, that is exactly equal to the right-hand side. Therefore, the value of x equals to 3 over 2 is a true solution for the given equation. We have taken the first solution and then proved that, that that solution is a true solution to the given equation. Let us take the second solution and see whether that satisfies the given equation. When we substitute x equals to negative 1 over 3 in the given equation, 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. Wherever we see x, we're going to substitute negative 1 over 3. And then when we substitute that, it is going to look like this. 6 times negative 1 over 3, the whole, the whole thing raised to the power of 2, minus 7 times negative 1 over 3, minus 3 is equal to 0. So we're going to simplify this some more. 6 times negative raised to the power of 2 is positive. 1 raised to the power of 2 is 1. 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9, minus 7 times negative 1 over 3, minus 3 is equal to 0. So when we simplify this, 6 and 9 are multiples of 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Therefore, 6 over 9 I can write as 2 over 3 plus, why, why, why did I write plus here? Negative times negative is a positive. 7 times 1 over 3 is 7 over 3. Minus 3 is equal to 0. <coughs> now we have we can take the com we can we have some fractions and the whole number so we can take a common denominator as 3 so therefore for the first fraction the numerator part is 2 for the second fraction the numerator nu numerator part is 7 and for the third number the whole number 3 times 3 is 9 and that is the whole thing is equal to 0 as you can see here the numerator goes to 0 0 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 0. So therefore, the left-hand side is exactly equal to the right-hand side. And therefore, the value of x equals to negative 1 over 3 is a true solution for the given equation. So there will, there will be two solutions when we solve a quadratic equation. In my next video presentation, we will be solving more problems using the quadratic formula.